despite some very convoluted, complicated language that people are still trying to figure out, there are some things that really actually do apply that if you are a company or an engineer, you actually do need to know about. And mostly it's going to be the laws of your own country yep. and the country you're launching from, if that's different. Yes. So if you're an Australian company, yep. you have to worry about the Australian laws. That's right. And wherever you're, if you're launching it from Australia, then it'll be Australian launch laws. Yep. And if you're launching from the US or India or China, it'll be their laws. That's right. And so if you're launching, you need a launch permit. Most countries will have rules saying to make sure that if you launch a rocket, it's not going to crash into someone on Earth. That's right. And if it comes down, how it's going to come down. And everyone's launch permit regulations are slightly different as well. Yep. And there are export restrictions. Yeah. For example, if um, the US won't allow much of its technology to be used in, yeah. in China. Yep. So if you want to launch your Australian rocket from a Chinese launch pad, you, you better make sure you don't have any technology that's restricted by this. That's right. Exactly. And there's liability yes. and insurance. So you'll have to come to an agreement. If your satellite is destroyed because an Indian rocket blows up on the launch pad, who pays? That's right. And this is something that your lawyers and their lawyers will try and work out. Most launch companies will have standard contracts. Yes, exactly. So if you had a launch with SpaceX or That's right. ISRO, you'd sign the standard contract with them and that would work it all out. And, and, in, and then to enforce it, they have a certain standards that your spacecraft has to meet from testing and design. So it's kind of a checks and balances they do internally. Yep. So basically, and, and there are many other yeah, sorts yeah, yeah. of laws. So basically, most of what you need to do legally before launching something is look at the laws of your country and the country you're launching from and make sure you've met all the requirements of those. And those are also to obey those UN rules through the Outer Space Treaty that everyone agrees to. And hopefully to. every country's laws will be in accord. Yeah. But there'll be a lot more to these That's laws. right, exactly. So most countries you'd launch from do have comprehensive space yes. law. I mean, New Zealand was an interesting case because they didn't have any space law until the rocket lab was starting to launch rockets, whereupon the government said, we need some laws. Yeah. So they asked rocket lab, tell us what laws. To... And they came up with a bunch of laws and wrote them. The one country that does launch rockets that doesn't have laws is China. That's right. Because for a long time, all Chinese launchers were by Chinese government agencies. Yes. They didn't bother writing down laws because basically the government told them what to do and they did it. Yes. But now, for the first time, private companies are being allowed to launch rockets in space. That's right. So the Chinese government is now scrambling to write some laws. That's right. So it's not just what, what the boss says. Yeah. Um, the biggest complication for most rockets is going to be getting a telecommunications license. Yes. We've talked about the congested frequencies. That's right. You're going to need to get a frequency slot that you can use. Yes. And that's done through the International Telecommunications Union. That's right. And this is an international union originally of telephone companies who divvied up, who divvy up all the frequencies yeah, exactly. and who gets what. And so what you need to do is only countries can approach this. So what That's you're right. going to have to do is go to your government and say, please approach the International Telecommunications Union and get us a spectrum slot we can use. That's right. And the trouble is, if you're a small operator, the government might not be too fussed. That's right. So some people will go to like, Tonga and get them to fill it in for yes. you. Yes. The trouble is that frequency then remains the property of Tonga. Yes. Tonga probably doesn't have a detailed uh, public service that's capable of analysing all these things. Um, and if they decide to take your frequency away, there's nothing you can do about it. It belongs to them, not to you. That's right. But this can take years. Yes. And it's difficult. So this is the main practical things you need to do if you're going to launch a rocket.